got a quick problem here with the uh, 7410 John Deere. Actually, I have two problems. One I haven't figured out yet. Uh, some of the fr throttle linkage. It's uh, I got to push the stick about halfway before it ever catches. So I'm going to have to take that panel off down there. And it goes all the way to here before it catches and accelerates the engine. Um, the other problems with this joystick, see how it's kind of flopping around there? Well, I don't know if you can see in there, but right down in there, there's a there's a, a missing collar. I had an E-clip on it, but the E-clips don't, don't work too well. So I was at a really neat place where I bought the, uh, where I bought that belting for the, uh, that link belt for the 4960 to repair that. And it had this really handy little kit here. Rotor clip retaining ring kit. And it's got the, uh, it's got internal and external uh, clamps, clips. So I, I bought this thing specifically for this tractor. Now I haven't even opened it yet, so I don't even know but uh, what it looks like. Uh, these things are, these little rings are all on a little paper. I think the thing is awesome. Okay, there's the little gizmo. And it is little, that's a 5 16th, and I have to stretch it over top of that thing. It looks bigger because I got it real close to the camera. But it's got to go down in that hole and it's going to cause a bunch of trouble. So I'll get it on there and then I'll tape it working or something. Okay, I've got it in there. Really a pain in the neck. I actually put two clips on. Uh, one is hold actually uh, tightening up the gap that I have so there's less play uh, what I'm gonna do is this so I'm gonna have to get me a screwdriver and tear it apart see what I can find there all right uh, that's the next job all right well I got the throttle linkage figured out I guess when it was snow and ice and froze up somebody rammed the throttle forward and bent the rod so, it was just that simple. You uh, bend it back into place, and it's good now. So, everything's working there. But I do have one more issue with the joystick. Uh, I think I can fix it pretty easy. I just need a pair of vice grips and uh, the right size wrench. So, I'll uh, get a hold of that there, and we'll make the adjustment. All right. Well, you're going to love this. These are the control cables here that run my loader. And watch this. Uh, see how that thing wobbles like a wild man there? Well, that, my friend, is a problem. Because it's not supposed to do that. Wobble, wobble, wobble. It's all, it's all junk. So, I'm going to have to uh, figure that one out. Alright, I figured out what the heck is wrong with the shifter here. Um, you see that thing going up there and down there? It, my brother-in-law did a little bit of repair while I was away. Um, Dad was plowing his driveway, so he had to help somehow. But he re-threaded the cable that got busted off. Now, that cable's junk. But we're in luck. About two years ago, I bought a brand new cable because I had lost one already. It had broken. So, what you have to do, when he threaded that in there, though, he kind of buggered the threads. So I had to run a chaser down in there and get them straightened out so this thing would actually go in and out the way it's supposed to. So now I have to do, what I have to do is get this cable off of here. Um, pretty easy, it's a 15, 16 inch nut there. I gotta get both of those nuts off because they won't fit down through the hole in the floor. And then I gotta go to the back of the tractor, back here, and this is where it gets really, really tricky. Up and under here, these valves, right there, that's where the cable goes in. So hopefully it's the closer one of the two, but my luck is saying it's not gonna be, it's gonna be there. All right, I'm gonna give you a little tip here on removing stuff from really tight places that you can't get your hands or even C for that matter. Bailing twine, or any string for that matter. What I'm gonna do 
is I'm going to attach this baling twine to this cable. And I'm going to use some electrical tape and I'm going to tape it fast. So when I pull that cable out, I'm going to have the string in the same hole. So what I'll do then is I'll attach, detach it from the old cable and attach it to the nice new cable. Tape it fast and then just pull the string and it'll come right up through the hole that the old cable came out of. Now, this works for anything. If you can get a string down through, it doesn't matter how big it is, a piece of thread at times I've used for bolt holes that, you know, I can't get my hands in there, so drop, take a, a cotter key or something that can fit down through the hole for weight, drop it down through the hole, detach the cotter key, attach the bolt, pull it up with, you know, with ease, so it'll go right up through the hole. Um, and then you just slide a nut over the top of the, the string there, down onto it, and start threading. Once it's set, it's set, and you're good. Um, I've had lots of times that I'm one-handed, or I can't get in there, and, you know, I can't hold it from the bottom or anything. I'm just a piece of thread and a pair of ice grips, you know, and there you go. You're off and running. So that's just a quick tip that you can use for tight places. Um, pretty simple, but that's what I'm going to do with this application here. Okay, it's in, all assembled, ready to go back together. I just gotta put the cover on and that's it, it's good. Real pain ass fishing it up through there, but for the most part we're good. So that's that. Okay, there it is, all covered up. All I gotta do is put my tools away, but I wanted to show you, I greased it too, so that's pretty nice and it's actually positioned a little farther away. I was having trouble with the the throttle bit and hitting the uh, well yeah god I was having trouble with the throttle and hitting the, the joystick here before it just wasn't quite where it needed to be so let's start her up 